I'm Joey. Gonna say please, so you don't have to worry about the call timing out. Invalid or expired? I literally just copy and pasted it. I'll try again. Good recognition on the mistuck from Caleb there. Uh, I would have liked to see him be a little bit more proactive in that interaction, though. He, he ended up just staying there trying to up tilt in place. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, give him the butt. That was a good back here. He placed that at like the right time to cover Phantasm. The move, ha the move has some decent like lingering hitboxes. Yeah, and it it's does. way Mario. stronger than like forward air, so it's definitely the best choice. Wario's got a lot of uh, lingering hitboxes. Like yeah, up tilt is really good against pocket phantasm. Uh, uh, dash hack also works well against it. Unlike most other characters, lingering hitboxes, Wario's actually do like less damage than you'd expect, and they have less range. But um, they they like last longer. The yeah, range is definitely something that. Warrior does not have. Yo, Street, you're really breathing heavy into that mic there. Oh, sorry, it's right <laughs> under my nose. I just thought maybe you really liked Wario or something. <laughs> I just uh, put on Push to Talk. Yeah, Push to Talk's pretty good. Well, I'm wearing a headset. Yeah, Whoa. if you move, it just up. Oh. oh no! It just moves everywhere. That's so, Frey, there are, there are two different um, heights for up B, right? For Wario's up B. Uh, it's more like a spectrum of heights. Oh, it's not just two. No, it's it's kind of the same as Mario's up special. Oh, okay. Depending on how far you tilt the stick, you'll lose height. It seems like there's almost he has so much drift, like with his special fall at the end of upbeat. It seems like there's almost no reason to ever do the horizontal ones. Yeah, I think the horizontal one can be a good mix-up. Uh, it's when the, uh, you use a horizontal one when you expect the person to come out and like try to hit you, so you want to like use you the wanna corner stuff back. Them yeah, they're like with your upbeat hitbox, yeah. Or even if they're like lingering a bit too close to the ledge, you can drift in with them. Maybe surprise them with that last hit, maybe a bit deeper into the stage than they were expecting. Yeah. I'd say it definitely, it definitely seems to have it have its uses. But yeah, if you're talking purely distance, it does feel better to just go straight up and then drift in. Yeah, I was I was talking just purely like distance recovery. Okay, we was able to clean that up there, just like capitalize. I, falling off. I didn't uh <laughs> I didn't have the combo into there there. I'm, I'm gonna win. And it's it's pretty easy for Wario to get that punish. He's he's got a good edge guarding game. Oh yeah, yeah. He's really good at edge guarding. Especially Falco. Especially characters that are like him, where they have to kinda go straight up pretty much. No one played on uh Dr. Mario stage. I, 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 don't, I don't really like that stage. I think it should be a good stage. It's a I just, starter. I don't like it because I SD'd there once. That's, <laughs> That's all it took. Yeah. That was unfortunate for him. Only one time. I miss the times when I used to trick kids when I was playing Smash. Like, I t brought myself off stage and they just told me bye, thinking I killed myself. Uh, I uh, that, uh, but, uh, oh no. Dash yeah, I missed the button there. Ooh. I, ha I had that recovery, I just I just think in my jump. So he was not covering that. Interesting choice to just go for the multiple shines on shield there. As opposed to <laughs> oh, I, do. I love doing that. I did not get the drift I needed there. Oh. Yeah, I, if, wanted if you do, do... I wanted to run and do it. Run in there, but I just did the there first. So if you do it. that, like multiple shines on shield and you get the frame trap, it's so much more rewarding than if you had just gone for it. Right? It really is. I like to do the. I like to shine, like, the. Uh, get the first one in. And then go to the backside of the shield and then spam some more. 
Oh yeah, that could be fun. I mean, it just it, it just makes it so you can't grab get grabbed as much. Yeah, like if you do a high shot by accident. Oh, I, I think he just like gave me the ledge back there. That was kind of weird to me. Yeah, so that, that was weird. Really fucked that up. Was and then he just was like, "Oh, okay, I feel bad." Yeah, I thought you were screwed when you went off stage like that. <laughs> he didn't want to do it like that. He wanted a combo. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All like all the socks he's taken in this game have just been from down airing dogs off stage. <laughs> yeah, he probably feels bad at this point. <laughs> uh that was that was good of him to just do that second neutral B. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do the second neutral B at the ledge, so I covered that and went in between. It definitely it doesn't feel like you can cover everything after uh, after you bounce him off with your shield. Especially not on like a platform like yeah. that. Yeah. If the platform this stage had is, been... This stage is uh, quite good for both characters. Yeah. Does, can Falco, like, does he have a good jump height for the top plot here? Like, can yeah, he, it, it, it's a stick hop to top. Looks like it. I think what really helps Falco here Probably is being best. able to carry people to that, to a side plat and then finish with a down air. That and the, uh, you get a oh, hell of a mix up your cuts. Uh, that definitely looks like a thing. Oh, yeah. Best of three set? No, it's a uh, best of five. Be, yeah, it should be five. I'm gonna win. Oh, okay. Loser's, loser sim is his best of five. Yeah, this. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's just top four. Alright. I'm down with that. Back to Spiral Mountain. So you like this stage a lot, right? Swamp. Yeah, I love Swamp. <laughs> That's an interesting layout. I mean, the textures on the bottom aren't great, unless you like Banjo-Kazooie, but I love Banjo-Kazooie, so I like him. Yeah. Also, thanks for the follow up, Yobu Pony. I can get my, my backwards momentum on my reverse fair, and that would have come in. I got a little spam there. Here you go. Now Dogs is waking up a bit. Yeah, I decided uh, I was went off stage too much, even though I just went off stage right there. <laughs> well, you you lost and, like uh, three straight stocks just being off stage last time. In also game one, I did the same thing both yeah. times. Uh, so I decided at this point, um, I'm just gonna play hella defensive and not really approach very much. We're gonna stuff with back air a lot, a lot of back airs. Oh yeah, that's a downer. Gotta love that downer buff. <laughs> I'm really glad I did that change. I well, feel yeah, like I mean, because it was it was like negative on hit, wasn't it? <laughs> Sometimes. There's a lot of moves that are negative on hit, even if you're yeah. jumping in the air. But like, it feels more like like a downer should now, and it feels like it opened up a lot of uh, combo routes for him that wouldn't have worked before. What spikes in the game are negative on hit? I feel like every spike on hit has a follow up. Like it's it's not. Ne I feel yeah, like they're all positive. Them, a lot of them can be difficult to follow up at zero, but not... Falco's was definitely like the weakest. Uh, a lot of uh, spikes, uh, you can't follow up if you fast fall them. Mm. You know, like, person's at like zero. Yeah, like, you, you're not really gonna get much off of like a Donkey Kong downer at zero. The amount of times I fast fall dared uh, Kirby or Pikachu, turn around to go grab them and got fucking hit is super high. Like, just can't fast fall that shit. Yeah. Like, so. And there, there are like uh, weaker downers, like Samus downer, um, but still, I think the old Falcon was a little bit weaker even than the Samus downer. And the thing is, like, just giving him that stronger downer, he had a lot of combos before, but a lot of the time, it felt like he didn't have a way to end them. And just having that like extra boost on the downer to where you can finish a lot more combos with it now, it feels like it's opened up a lot of more like standard combos. Which I think is something he needed. Uh, Caleb called out my uh, intentional no tech uh, with that side, that neutral B immediately. That was really good for me. So he's noticed I've been doing that. Ooh, you're actually kind of. That down smash would not have worked if, <laughs> if he had been on stage. I feel like it would have still hit with the neutral B. Uh, it was kind of the end of it, so I, I, I don't know. Uh, down, I think Good down smash was nice. fairly just cool. Yeah. See, yeah, that's that's the way you do it. You just wait out the neutral V and then get out, the, go out there, and mess them up. I like that like bait that you did on the 
second to last backer, they're using like the running shield drop away from him. Dreamland. Yeah, yeah. And then like double jump back in with the backer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of a bad habit of mine, but it works. Yeah, he he could have uh, avoided it, especially as Mario would like drift away. But it isn't something you see too often. Using a, it's like a runaway shield drop as the defensive tool. Maybe because Dreamland's platforms aren't like wide enough to allow for it too much. I dipped a bit too low, so I wasn't sure if I could do there. I was just like, ah, I'm gonna get this bear and stuff instead. Another thing is, I'm surprised that you're not uh, going out there more to punish his neutral base off stage, but I guess that can feel like kind of risky, especially in a tournament. So. Uh, I mean, I did uh, the end of last game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really like uh, focusing a lot on um, seeing how he responded to me grabbing the ledge from uh, the neutral B. Yeah, l ledge hogging uh, Wario when he's in his neutral special can be really, really rewarding. Yeah, I, I did that a lot against uh, you when we playtested Wario a lot. Mainly, mainly because uh, once he's below the stage and he has to upbeat, like most of the time he's just dead. He can trade like any downer with that upbeat and it's not hard. He does he gets uh he gets a lot of mileage off of drifting after the upbeat is finished, but if you actually just go out there and like, trade with his upbeat or just try to beat it, it's yeah. pretty pretty darn exploitable. That's true. I've also got wrecked by just hit get, getting clipped by it though, so and I'm, I kill myself so many times going off stage in dumb ways already this set, so I was... Yeah, it was really good that you made that adjustment. Wow, that's another good booty from him there. He's doing he's doing a good job of just using like the lingering hitbox on the back air to edge guard with. Uh -oh. Okay, don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy punish. Oh, there you go. Well, okay. yeah, yeah. If you ledge hog that when he doesn't have his double jump, then it's just curtains. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna win. Going to game five. Game five. Where's Caleb gonna take Glacial, him? Glacial River? Nope. No, I, I was wondering if he was gonna use the dark green FOD trick like he did on me. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think Glacial River is probably pretty bad for Falco. Yeah, that is a really. He's talking about the graphical thing. Though. Yeah, he is. I just, I just mean in general for Falco. I think Glacial River is a good counter pick. Yeah, from a non-joke perspective, that is actually a really good counter pick against Falco because doing shine cancels on slopes is much harder. Do the slopes affect uh, Phantasm at all? Uh, he rides them, right? He rides up on them. Yeah, if you do the aerial one or the grounded one both, they'll just ride up the slope. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure about aerial. <clears throat> yeah, you don't land if you like hit a slope while you're moving. You just move up with it. But uh, one thing is, if you use Phantasm from off stage onto the stage, in Glacial River, and you don't land near the edges, then you have that extra fall time because of the slope. Yeah, that too. The worst thing really though is just the shine cancel. Yeah. Because if, if you shine cancel while moving forward on a slope, then the hitbox doesn't come out. So if you if you want to shine cancel on the slope, you have to make sure you stop your momentum completely or you even drift backwards as you're inputting the shine. I'm surprised that uh, Caleb didn't pick up on me tech rolling away every time. Uh, I forget what he hit. Oh, with like a tell. He'd uh, up tell me I had to. I'd have to tech. I'd tech roll away every time. But he always would try like run grab instead of like dash attack, which I thought was weird. That's one thing that 
Caleb should probably use more as dash attack. It's so good. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's so good, but it's really good attack chasing. Yeah. Well, it's, just, it's really strong. I was blinded by a rage in this. <laughs> <laughs> Blinded. I'm so glad this is the version of back air that made it into live. First version wasn't nearly as good. It had a lot lower range originally. Yeah. But I, it was like that that early version of the animation that I had. It wasn't yeah. really reasonable to give it more. You would have it would have been so much disjoint. Yeah. So when I when I reanimated it, I just made him really stick it out there. Had to make his butt bigger. Yeah, basically. I was so close to dying. I went so far away before I up B because I was so worried about getting clipped by the up B. Yeah. There it is. I thought he was going to do that fast fall aerial. What have you been doing? He mix it up. I think a neutral air right. would have been a better choice from Caleb there. Oh no. Oh, th that was that, like that was a crazy sequence. It was, was a critical moment in that game. Is that dude? That, that, that right was really. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. There are so many times where I was like, "Oh wow, that that would have been a great opportunity for, you know, X," and then it just kept getting flipped around to the other person. <laughs> Already at fifty percent. Challenge the Wario up B. Dude, last stock game five. It's a really good set. Scary situation though. Oh, that might be it. Caleb drops the edge card a little he bit. Just, he just sat there for so long. <laughs> Run under. Oh, says an opening. Who this does is that? Oh, oh, that. oh, he got the jump. That's gonna do it. Yeah, Falco yeah. below the ledge is so yeah. bad. <laughs> Uh, that was a great set. That was yeah, a good set. set. <sighs> Props to Caleb for bringing it back in that game five. Yeah, after almost getting reverse 3 0'd.